Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some work from home jobs where you can spend most of your time actually reading posts online and taking action on them based on certain guidelines. Many of these don't require experience either. So the first website you can look at is gaggle.net. Gaggle is a place where basically they need people to help them keep uh, students safe. And there's a certain job where you do this. It's called a content reviewer. They've been posting more of these recently actually. Um, here in August 2024 and they're seeking independent contractors for temporary non-renewing contract positions reviewing student activity for potentially concerning activity so you have the flexibility to work with the constraints of your own schedule so you get to essentially make your own hours um, within reason and then you will be uncovering drug use bullying, threats of school violence, teen depression, suicidal intentions, and abusive domestic situations for students K through 12. So you will basically be reviewing and analyzing student activity to figure this out, to identify potentially inappropriate usage, including words, phrases, statements, and images within email, Google Drive, Microsoft, OneDrive, and more. Process content correctly and efficiently as defined by metrics provided by Gaggle and regularly visit are regularly visible to independent contractors. You will escalate questionable findings to the gaggle safety reps, communicate, collaborate via chat with a nationwide team and additionally, additional tasks as a side. So essentially you are helping make students lives safer with this job by monitoring um, posts that they make and in different ways and also analyzing whether or not there are signs of anything that may be leading to the student having a, a bad life. So requirements, experience in education, crisis management, safety content review, child advocacy, or a related field, interest and enthusiasm for reading as the position requires focused attention to reading content of varying lengths. So they tell you that right here, you're doing a lot of reading, you're going to be observing a lot of different types of posts, ability to delineate between potentially harmful student matters and harmful situations, ability to exhibit tolerance of and respect for others' opinions, Ability to work independently, experience working as an independent contractor is preferred. It's not necessarily required though. Access to high-speed internet. Satellite is not acceptable. So typically they want something like landline, fiber, uh, cable, that kind of thing. Access to a computer, Chromebook, or laptop. And they don't want you to use a tablet or phone to do this type of work. So this is a 24-7, 365 team. You do usually get to kind of set your own hours. So again this is a contractor um, position so as far as what's like to work here they have a 4.1 out of 5 star rating 73 percent recommend working here to a friend um, i don't think you're going to get benefits here because you're an independent contractor now the interview process here seems to be very easy they have a 2.5 out of 5 difficulty rating which is i would say about um, half a point lower than the average which is typically around three out of five for most companies i would say Interview experience is 56% positive compared to 31% negative. That's very good. A lot of companies are closer to 50% negative. So they have really good scores. As far as how much you can actually make as a, a content reviewer or a moderator, as some might call it, um, it looks like $20 an hour on average is fairly common, $21 an hour or something like that. Um, but if you are uh, looking at the full range, there are a lot of reviews. The full range is closer to maybe like 15 or 16 up to maybe the mid 20s, maybe even the high 20s as a safety rep uh, somewhere in there. So next we have a company called Mia Academy. Um, this is a place where they have basically a more fun way for kids to learn. They have videos for all sorts of different subjects and quizzes and stuff like that but it's supposed to make learning more fun. So as far as uh, the type of job we're looking at in this one, it's another moderator type of job. So it's 100% remote in the US, part-time or full-time, 19 to $23 per hour in compensation. So it's nice that they tell you right up front about how much you're going to make. And with this type of moderation job, you will play an important role in creating a safe and engaging learning environment for children. This position, this position is focused on moderating text artwork and videos posted by children in the educational website community so again you're going to be reading a lot of text you're also going to be observing um, artwork or images videos etc 
and basically taking action on them based on whatever guidelines that they give you here at the company. So what you'll do is monitor and review a high volume of student generated content to ensure adherence to community guidelines. Provide feedback and address concerns for students who maintain a positive and welcoming environment. Stay updated on trends and pop culture to understand and relate to the young audience. Collaborate with the moderation management team and other moderators to develop, implement, and improve content moderation policies and guidelines, and participate in training sessions on content moderation techniques and tools. It may be a good fit for you if you have strong proficiency with technology and aptitude to learn new technologies and processes quickly, ability to stay up to date with current trends to understand relate to young audiences, ability to interact with children compassionately and patiently, access to a computer with camera, reliable high-speed internet, understanding of online safety and child protection principles, excellent attention to detail and ability to identify subtle issues in user-generated content, ability to work independently and collaboratively in a team environment, good problem solving, critical thinking skills, communication skills, growth mindset, constructive feedback, something that motivates you, proven ability to work independently, manage schedules, meet deadlines, highly motivated, proactive, seek opportunities for improvement and high standards of integrity and transparency. So what makes you stand out would be prior experience of content moderation or community management, preferably in a child focused environment. So this, when they say this right here, what makes you stand out, that usually means it's not required, but would again, obviously make you stand out among other candidates who maybe also don't have experience. Also your own unique talents, your background has given you a unique perspective. So basically they're just going to tell you here that um, if you can kind of um, convince them why your unique background maybe makes you a good fit for this role, they're definitely open to hearing that. Uh, why you'll love working here, obviously it's a good mission to be a part of. You're helping make uh, kids' lives better. 100% remote, you get to work pretty much anywhere in the U.S. We provide flexible and work flexibility and work with employees to create a schedule that works around their lives. You also get to make your own schedule here. Full-time employees are eligible for health, dental, and vision insurance, inclusive of specialty care options like fertility, chiropractic care, FSA, HSA, life insurance, all employees are also eligible for a 401k retirement plan with employer match, paid time off, floating holidays, parental leave, and other perks and benefits. And you'll collaborate with colleagues in challenging, on challenging and rewarding projects. So uh, typically you work four hour shifts. You do have the option to work back to back shifts if you're trying to go for more of a full time type of schedule. So this is another one where again, you're reading a lot of posts, you're observing a lot of different types of things online to look for signs of um, basically making sure that everything is safe. They're going to give you certain guidelines of what to look for. And so most of your day is just spent observing content. So as far as what it's like to work at Mia Plaza, they actually have a 4.6 out of 5 star rating, which obviously is very good. And 90% of people so far would recommend working here to a friend. So obviously you can't do much better than that. And then benefit wise, if you're able to get benefits, Sometimes the average doesn't work on Glassdoor for some reason, um, but they do have a five-star rating. I have another five-star rating. They said, you know, work from home is great, 401k and health insurance, paid time off. They have also another four-star rating and another five-star rating and one two-star rating. So pretty good scores overall. I'd say if you actually did average that out, it's probably close to four out of five, maybe four and a half out of five, but um, very good scores for the most part, even though they only have five people who have left feedback. They do have a 3.5 out of 5 difficulty score. Now they do have 63% negative, which is slightly more than the average company. Like I said, the average company is usually around 50% negative. But as far as um, the positive and neutral together, it's about almost 40%, which isn't too far off the norm, but could be a little bit better. Next, you have a company called Mod Squad. If you go to modsquad.com, it'll look something Next, next you have Mod Squad. Mod Squad is a place where they specialize specifically in moderation jobs. They have two places where you can look for jobs here. Um, one is their regular careers page. So the regular careers page will usually have more traditional jobs. Now they don't seem to have any open positions right now, but uh, typically this is where you find the regular nine to five jobs. Sometimes you'll find some jobs, maybe like moderation or something here, but a lot of times they're more corporate. Now you also have become a mod. You can always go to this page here where it says become a mod and basically they'll tell you about what it's like to be a freelance or an independent contractor moderator here. So 
basically you provide customer support, you do uh, some social media work, you'll find the mods answering phone calls, texting with customers, find them moderating posts or forums or on forums or online reviews, monitoring images, videos, live streams, chatting in game or play testing the game, wherever you find customers, communities or content. So this is also something that is worldwide and supports people speaking over 50 languages. There's always a mod close by when you need one. So here you get to also pick your own schedule, pick your own projects, work remotely, keep your day job if you have one, work with amazing companies and things like that. So they have basically a way for you to join their talent pool uh, or apply to join their talent pool and then you can get paid to do typical moderation services you are given certain guidelines for whatever community you're supposed to manage and then you basically help make sure that, that community is is going well everybody's you know being good to each other there's not a bunch of spam there's not people you know insulting each other back and forth everybody's following whatever the guidelines for the community are so they also have a place where you can look at their latest uh, moderation jobs support jobs and things like that um, you can just apply as a mod contractor if, if you want basically just fill out the application form here uh, you also have just regular content moderator in a different part of the world. So make sure you look at which part of the world this is for. And then you also have just like individual customer support jobs you can look through as well. Occasionally, you may even see uh, jobs where you're basically testing video games. But other than that, as far as what's like to work at Mod Squad, they have a 3.1 out of 5 star rating, 53% recommend working here to a friend. Now, if you do end up getting benefits, they only have a 2.6 out of 5 star rating. They're not necessarily known for having the greatest benefits, but a lot of the jobs you're going to be probably um, probably be looking at here are contractor positions. Interview-wise, uh, 2.4 out of 5 difficulty, 53% positive compared to 35% negative. The difference being um, basically somewhere in between there and a neutral perspective. So I would say 35% negative is pretty good. Mostly um, if you're anything around 50% uh, or lower on the negative side, I'd say that's fairly good. And then as far as how much you can get paid to be a moderator here, if you look at the pay rates as a moderator, for instance, you have uh, 17 to 25 an hour, according to these 32 people, 15 to 19, uh, according to 33 more people. So it really depends on who you ask. Um, but for the most part, you're looking at what looks like up to around the mid 20s, maybe more, possibly up to $34 an hour as a contractor, but that doesn't say exactly what type of contractor they were there. Um, and they also have another one that says 15 people said up to 31 an hour as a contractor. Another company where you can find similar moderation type jobs that are um, going to basically be enforcing certain guidelines or answering questions based on certain guidelines for some sort of community would be Keyword Studios. Now Keyword Studios specializes in uh, gaming and other forms of entertainment. So they are usually going to manage those types of communities, especially gaming. Now they actually allow you to um, apply worldwide right now for their community management positions. They also have um, multiple uh, positions they're trying to fill that use the same application page. So if you've seen me cover this application page before, it's because they have um, more than one opening available. They have multiple positions in the field of community management, social media management. It also says United Kingdom on the location, but you do not have to be in the United Kingdom. You can be anywhere worldwide, and these are open to anyone outside of the UK or even in the UK. So they tell you that upfront in the job title and in the first sentence of the application page. So basically, multiple positions worldwide in community management, social media management for typically gaming and entertainment related clients. So what you're actually going to do is review all incoming community interactions on different social media platforms and communicate with players. You're going to be reading a lot of comments. You're going to be reading a lot of maybe even questions from the community. Uh, you'll respond to comments and player queries create engaging content for social media, build in-depth reports, assist the developer by collating reporting of player feedback. So again, you're observing on maybe some trends that you see in terms of the types of comments you're getting. Maybe you have people in the community that there's multiple people voicing um, frustrations about maybe there's a bug in a game or something. So you would maybe take note of that and 
uh, report it to the proper department because that's a form of player feedback. So you're reading player feedback, you're responding to some of it as well, um, and then you're helping foster and maintaining a safe and welcoming environment. Again, this is part of the moderation side of you are making sure that people are following, following community guidelines, moderating discussions and comments, making sure that the rules are being followed. That's a lot of what this is. You're reading a lot of posts from people all day, making sure that the rules are being followed, taking action when you have to, um, reporting um, maybe some things that um, are a common issue with a game. Those types of things are what you're basically doing. You're also going to help create an update uh, documentation as, as needed as well. Uh, Benefit-wise, I'm not going to read through all of this because most of this I've read through before. Um, benefits are basically they're telling you you're flexi you have a lot of flexibility with the role. You get to work from home, and you're going to get to um, work with exciting um triple a blockbuster games and all other types of uh, video games experience and requirements minimum of two years experience of community management or social media and gaming on a professional basis they do want excellent written and verbal communication skills in english bilingualism is a plus it's not required but if you do speak japanese french spanish or german on top of english make sure to let them know Passionate about video games and social media is another thing they're looking for. Strong understanding of social media and community management platforms or channels like Discord, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, Facebook. Expertise with social listening and social management best practices. Experience managing or moderating a thriving game community. Higher education um, would also be great as well in marketing, business administration, communication, adult education, or related fields. So typically this does require full-time availability, although part-time availability may be considered depending on the project. So as far as what's like to work here, they have, you know, 1.9 thousand reviews, 3.8 out of 5 stars, 74% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit-wise, they don't tell you a lot and they don't seem to have the greatest reviews for their benefits, 2.4 out of 5 stars, but that's not really something they're known for. They don't really promise you a lot there anyway. 2.4 out of 5 difficulty is actually pretty easy. I would be encouraged by seeing that. Uh, negative 22% for their interview experience, also very good. Very few people had a negative experience interviewing here. And as far as how much you can get paid, if you look for a community manager on here, you can just look at that under job title. So if you go here, community manager, then you should be able to see um, some reviews. You do see a review here. They said 66,000 a year is what they averaged. It could be anywhere from 25 to 41 an hour. Uh, uh, total pay would be about $32 per hour if it's um, the average at least. So you're looking at somewhere in that ballpark in terms of pay according to this person who said they work there as a community manager. Next, we have a company called Live World. Live World is also a great place to find uh, community management or moderator related jobs where a lot of your job is spent reading comments from people in a community. So what you are doing is going to liveworld.com, going to their careers page, and you're looking for a job that's usually always open. It's called a social media agent. Now, the other ones on here are, you know, they come and go, but this one's usually fairly common. They're usually just always kind of actively looking for more social media agents to do social customer service, engagement for marketing, adverse events management, and protection of brand image. And protection of brand image is a big part of moderation, of course. Uh, Live World Agent provides a great experience for a brand's customers in their online venues. This is typically a part-time work-at-home position. Flexibility is needed to be able to work evenings, nights, weekends, and or holidays. So they, they kind of forgot to format these with headers, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna like highlight where the headers would have been if you were to use them so that you kind of see the different sections to this. But first you have the primary responsibilities, which are review and take appropriate action on social media posts according to guidelines, reject or approve content, tracking and escalating. You will also triage and respond to customers' questions, selecting and personalizing previously prepared responses or in a social context. Actively engage with online users, stimulating, guiding, participating, research customer service answers, etc. You'll also identify and escalate trends, topics, sentiment, and emerging issues. Again, this is another one of those things where you're looking for feedback from people and you might have to let the certain department know about it if there's a common concern. 
from the community. Required skills and traits here. Ability to connect with people and communicate well. Um, make decisions according to guidelines. Ability to compose well-written messages. Strong keyboard skills. Ability to navigate between multiple systems and applications. Demonstrate personal or professional success engaging in a social channel. Um, recommended education experiences next after that. So this part right here, required skills and traits. This is basically saying that there's not a whole lot required. Now, if you look at recommended education and experience, this is a different word. If you think about required versus what is recommended, required is kind of non-negotiable. Recommended, of course, is preferred, which we are very familiar with that term if you've looked at a few uh, job applications. So if you see what is preferred, uh, they do want you to be 18 years of age or older. Now, I do think that's actually something that should have been in the requirements section. I do think that is, in fact, required. They do say that. Now, after that, they do say two to three years experience in online moderation and engagement and our online customer service is desirable. So then they say some experience in a call center environment, helpful. Work at home experience, helpful. Social media moderation and engagement experience, preferred but not required. Healthcare background, desirable but not required. Experience with social media tools, desirable. A college degree or equivalent experience, preferred. So pretty much everything they say in that whole section is consistent with it is preferred. It is not necessarily a absolute non-negotiable. Environment and technical requirements. This is basically just your home office setup. All you really need are the basics. High-speed internet, dependable telephone access, and a laptop or desktop with a quiet atmosphere. Language fluency requirements. English, that's the main thing you need to know. Now, if you do speak other languages, like any of these listed here, I would let them know because that could give you more options here. Now, other than that, another thing to keep in mind here is that um, they do sometimes hire outside the U.S., but at the bottom here, they say um, they have the split between U.S. and non-U.S. applicants. Uh, Live World is not currently recruiting non-U.S. applicants. They tell you that right there at the very bottom. It's easy to miss that. Now, as far as what's like to work here, they have a 3.7 out of 5 star rating. They're actually even a publicly traded company. And also a 65% score of how many people recommend working here to a friend. Now, benefit-wise, they have a 2.4 out of 5 rating, which obviously could be a little bit better. But they don't really promise you anything either. Uh, interview wise they do have a little bit of feedback and as far as that goes apparently it's very easy to get a job here at 1.7 out of 5 difficulty and only 17 percent had a negative um, time interviewing or applying here so that's a very good score as well the vast majority of people had either a neutral or positive experience and it seems to be very easy to get a job here now last but not least when you have we have a salary here. So there's a few different jobs that kind of fit this description. If you're looking at what this would normally be called, some people don't label the name of the job properly. It's very common. It's very common as a problem on here where some people, uh, you'll, they'll call it something that's a very similar job title. So then you're looking at reviews for like five different job titles that are for the same listing. So moderator would be pretty much the same thing as a social media agent, even though that's not the exact title. It is 24 to 44 an hour with an average of 32. Social media moderator, pretty much the same thing, even though the job listing is called social media agent, it's almost exactly the same thing. 20 to 33 an hour, average 26. Agent, it's called a social media agent, so I guess they meant the same thing. 20 to 30 an hour, 38 an hour, 27 average. So you see kind of like you sometimes have to look at multiple listings with multiple um, descriptions of the job because a lot of people don't label it the exact name that it's called. Um, so it looks like somewhere between uh, maybe as low as 16, as high as possibly $44 per hour, depending on who you ask. Sometimes maybe if you're multilingual, you might get paid more. Maybe um, there are different communities that pay more, just depends. But hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. If this was a helpful video, please click the like button. It helps me understand what types of content you prefer and I'll see you in the next video.